Hello everyone, welcome to day 9th of June Lead Code Challenge. My name is Sanchar Dodeja. I am working as Technical Architect SD4 at Adobe. And here I present 2 sum 2. Input array is sorted. Here in this question, we are given an array wherein the elements are sort sorted in non-decreasing order. What do we need to do? We need to identify those two indices whose sum is equal to the given target. If that exists, then we need to return those two indexes. Otherwise, we need to return null. So this is a very important question for creating the foundation of a two pointer approach and handling of maps. So we will be solving two questions today that forms the foundation of map manipulation and two pointer approach. So do watch it very carefully. If you're not able to understand these questions, then you will not never be able to solve medium and hard level questions of two pointers or maps by yourself. So do watch it till the very last. Now let's get started with the presentation. Also in case if you have any doubt understanding this question, or if you want to ask anything from me in general with respect to placement, internships, hiring process, then please feel free to drop a message on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded. Both the links are stated in the description. So do check them out. Looking forward to solving all your queries out there. Now let's get back to the question. And just for a second, let's assume that the array is not sorted. Although it is specified in the question, but let's hypothetically assume that the array is not sorted and we'll go step by step building the approach one by one. So we'll be solving this question by three approaches. So let's get started. So in the first approach, let's consider the same data set. Although the array is sorted, but we are not considering that aspect right now. The target that we are looking for is 9 and we are searching for those two elements where the sum happens to be 9. So what we can do, we can use two for loops for this purpose. So the first for loop will start from 2 and then it will iterate and search for the remaining value. 9 minus 2 is 7. So another loop will start for the gth index starting from this particular index up till the end and you will check whether 2 plus array of i plus array of j happens to be equal to target or not and you break this up as soon as we find this condition as true and i and j are those two elements so this is a pretty straightforward approach where you have used two loops one for i other one for j and at whatever position you see that array at the ith index plus array at the jth index happens to be target you abort the process and return those two indexes the time complexity of this approach is order of n square Now let's shoot for the other approach, which is order of n approach, where we'll be using extra storage of size order of n again. So let's go ahead and create the map and it will be of type integer comma integer. And the key of this map would be equal to the element comma the index at which that element occurs in my input array. So let's quickly fill this up. So first entry will be 2 comma 0, next entry would be 7 comma 1, followed by 1, 11 comma 2, followed by 15 comma 3. And now let's start the iteration. The first element that we see happens to be 2. And what is the counter remaining part that we are looking for? At 2 we are looking for 9 minus 2 which is 7. So the first entry is 2 that we are aware of. Now we are looking for 7. What do we do? We check whether 7 is present in my input uh, in, in my map or not. Yes, 7 does exist in my map. And at what index does it occur? It occurs at 1. So as a result of which we can say that the counterpart for achieving the target sum is present in my map. As a result of which I have identified two indexes that leads to the sum of 9. So at 2, what do we do? We check whether the counter remaining sum does exist in my map or not. Here it does exist, which is 7. And we extract its index, which is 1. We know the index of the current element, which is 0. So 0, 2 becomes part of our answer. These are the two indexes that add up to give 9 as a total sum. So this is the second approach. And the time complexity of this approach is order of n because you are iterating over the input array and the space complexity is also again order of n. In the previous approach, the time complexity of order of n square and the space complexity was constant time. Now let's shoot for the third approach, which is the two sum kind of an approach. And we will be exploiting the property that the array is sorted. It can only be applied when the array is sorted. 
these two approaches can be applied when the array is unsorted as well so let's shoot for writing the same case we have 2 7 11 and 15 so what do we do we take two pointers one from the zeroth index other one from the last index and we call it start comma end and we check what is the sum of the start and the end so start plus end 15 plus 2 gives you 17 17 is greater than your target as a result of which you'll reduce the value of end pointer has it been the case that the sum, sum of start and end would have led to your target you would have aborted the process in case the sum of start and end is less than the target in that case you will be incrementing the start pointer this one and in the third case which is the right now case we are reducing the end pointer because the sum exceeds the, the target that you were looking for so we'll reduce the target and we'll reduce the end pointer and end now points to 11 let's do the same thing again start plus end gives you the sum of 11 plus 2 is 13 13 is greater than 9 as a result of which you'll reduce the end pointer end now points to over here 7 plus 2 gives you 9 you have satisfied the condition it's equal to the target and you bought the process these are the two indexes that add up to the total target value that you have been looking for the time complexity of this approach is order of n because we have not sorted the array exclu exclusively it was already sorted in the equation the space complexity is order of one now let's quickly look at the coding section and conclude this up even before jumping on to the details of today's question i would like to introduce you all coding decoded is the preparation and revision sheet i know for students especially it becomes really overwhelming because there are so many concepts out there and if you have an eminent interview plan then you don't know how to go about it since there are so many questions on lead code approximately 2300 which one to go for uh, what questions will give you the confidence that you are interview ready so to help you guys i have created dynamic programming graph try binary search backtracking bit manipulation monotonic stack sliding window heaps priority queues matrix SD division sheets. So if you go and check out the sheet, you will find the first thing is a template that wherein I have explained the basis and the core algorithm that gets utilized in that concept. For example, bit manipulation. So you go through this video up and then you will see that all the following questions utilizes the same template. So this question is for building the understanding and the rest one is for up, for the application part. You will get a good hold of the concept. Go and try these questions up and I promise after going through the entire sheet, bit manipulation will be done and dusted similarly for graphs as well tries as well uh, and do have a look at the backtracking sd revision sheet because it's quite difficult to understand and i promise once you will go through the combination some three template uh, you can you yourself will see that the same template gets applied in all the rest of the questions you will get the confidence that you are ready for the interview you are ready to go into that battlefield and I promise it will give you a good hold of the concept that you are looking out for. Now let's get back to the question. So let's shoot for the two pointer approach first and then we'll move to the map approach. So here I've created two pointers start is pointing to zero end is pointing to the last terminal while start is less than end. If my sum of start plus uh, numbers at end if the sum of these two elements is equal to the target this is what we have been looking for that means we have found out the answer we build our answer and return it up otherwise we check if the sum of start plus sum of end happens to be less than the target what we should do we should increase the sum so for increasing the sum we will increment the start pointer otherwise in the third case the, the sum of start plus end is less than is uh, more than the target as a result of which we are decreasing the total sum therefore we will reduce the end pointer because end holds the maximum value start holds the least value once we are out of this wide loop what do we do we simply return null so this is the first approach so let's try this up accepted uh, time complexity is pretty fine and let's shoot for the second approach now Here I've created a map and uh, what do we do? We add entries onto this map and we check whether uh, the target dot el we have iterated we are iterating over the input array and we check whether target minus el is present in my map or not. 
if it is present then we check whether we are not considering the same element again and again for example let's assume the target is 4 and the element that exists in my input array happens to be 2 then we should not consider uh, the the same 2 twice as a result of it we should have a corner case specified that map dot get the index of the remaining element remaining some element should be equal to the current index into consideration if that is the case we have found out our answer we build our answer array and we simply break that up otherwise what do we do we keep on adding uh, that particular element at the that at the ith index into the map and contain the for loop once we are done with this we simply return this count array so let's try this up again accept it and i think this should not be named count we should name it the answer array that would be a better nomenclature so updated it up and with this let's wrap up today's session all the links are specified in the description below so do check them out over to you guys the hard work is yours i can only be the catalyst thank you